Hi, my name is Viral Tarpara. I'm assisting Andrew Fryer with his 12 Days of Christmas videos to show what Microsoft gives to the community for free. Today we're going to be discussing PPT Plex, which is an add-on to PowerPoint 2007. Now everyone knows about PowerPoint. It's a great way to do uh, presentations. It's a way to sh use it in the classroom. You can use it in educational purposes. You can use it in business. It's very common in business. In a lot of ways, uh, PowerPoint uh, has changed the way people do presentations completely because you just put on slides and you put on information that you want uh, in these slides, whether it's a picture, photo, bits of text, uh, bits of animation, whatever you want, like this. Uh, you can show it on a full screen, you can show it on a projector. It's PowerPoint. However, it's very linear and so there's a lot of limitations. Now, Office Labs has introduced a new free plugin called PPT Plex that really changes the way people can not only create PowerPoint presentations, but view them and deliver those presentations to really create a strong impact. So with me today, I have partner technology specialist, Jamie Burgess, who is going to show off one of, the present, uh, one of his presentations and the way he created, created it with PPT Plex. So Jamie, um, can you int introduce yourself and how you, what oh, yeah. you use um, PowerPoint Plex for? Very well. I'm um, Jamie Burgess. I'm a partner technology specialist at Microsoft. Through um, PowerPoint presentation after PowerPoint presentation, but it can get a bit boring and quite linear. So what PPT Plex does, it certainly with my presentation style, uh, will allow me to go through my slides, but if I need to, jump back and jump across. Uh, it'll also allow me, to, as you can see here, we've got different um, sort of titles and headers where you can split the presentation into uh, different sections. So here's the overview of my actual presentation. So initially you've got a big overview of all the slides and you can zoom in and then just by continuing the, um, the process by pushing the right arrow, it will go through, I can do my introductions and I use visual prompts um, and then talk about them so people remember the presentation. But if I wanted to suddenly um, zoom into slides slightly more, I can either zoom right into the slide or I can actually zoom all the way out and choose a slide further down and actually then I can move around. It allows that sort of fluidity uh, that the standard PowerPoint presentation doesn't normally offer. Now, one of the things I really love about PTP, PPT Plex is that, where, especially when you use high resolution imagery, you can just zoom into the detail. Like, you have this picture of a cow. Now, I have no idea why you have this picture of a cow. Would you like to explain? Uh, yeah, it's about the Windows Essential Server Solutions branding, um, although I think it should be more of an umbrella. But hey, we can call it a brand for now. Yeah, you could zoom in on the pictures to such a detailed degree. Now, this is a low res image, but if you use replace this with a high res image, you could get into the Finite, the really fine grained detail of this photo, which is really cool to create impact. Give um, an example of um, some of the things that um, I would use that for is if I'm explaining, for example, something uh, in detail about some text on there. So let's go into one of these slides here. If um, people at the back, for example, couldn't see, I could actually zoom in and go through some of the actual um, items a bit closer and allow people to take note and I can point out specific ones. Certainly, if there's a small um, a sort of um, TV or, or um, a projector at the front. It allows people at the back to get a better view of what's going on. Yeah. So how do you actually create PPT Plex presentations that look this interactive? Because this looks like it's a lot of work. So I'm going to escape and maybe you could kind of show us a few pointers on you know how PPT Plex is actually sure. done. Um, so you have a so basically your main starting screen. Now these uh, basically will allow, there's a few templates that are already preset. So here we have a list of some flowing ones, some linkage ones. I use the arrows one and I can just change the colors to suit the branding of the actual um, product that I'm presenting on. Um, but once you've selected the initial one, you get these um, dividers, they're called. Now, they all appear, they're like invisible slides in the actual, um, and here you can see one I've titled at the beginning, and it's just a PPT Plex section divider. And all of a sudden, that will pop into here, as you can see the beginning, and anything listed between that slide and the next divider, if I can find it down here, um, will appear in that section. So as you can see, there's quite a few slides in this particular section. Um, and then is the next slide there. So anything between that slide and the original one uh, will appear when you publish it in this little, the beginning section. Oh, wow. And so there's just uh, so many canvases and backgrounds to choose from. So if you want to change the way it looks, you could just simply choose it and it should automatically work, right? Correct. So let's, if I go ahead and choose it, this one, uh, I'll do this because you already have it saved. Sure, why not? So now it's added a new presentation uh, overview section with uh, different sections. Uh, wow, I noticed that this one has a lot more unused yeah, sections. So there's, uh, some of them have a lot more to use. So if you've got a, if you, it depends on how your presentation style is based. But um, if you use a lot of a lot of slides, you may want to split them up in a lot more. But I only use about six dividers. So there are, you can go around and delete those, or they just don't appear on the, when you actually go to present it. Um, I mean, 
it all depends about your presentation style, really. But I prefer using a few, so I, that's why I chose the canvas background I chose. And what's been, you know, to wrap up, what's been the feedback so far with some of the presentations you've given, not only to partners, but maybe consumer technology enthusiasts? And so whatnot. one of the, um, the things people do is they always use PowerPoint to do a presentation. And at the end, um, I, I do an overview and a sort of summary of what's happened. And I, I go usually an overview of the product itself, but I also talk about. Uh, for those of you who want to know about how this presentation was done, this was done by PPT Plex. And all of a sudden, the pens start scribbling. People are taking notes about where it's available from. And everyone I've presented to will go and have a look at it, and as they've seen it in work, they've seen it in action, and actually really enjoy it and, and like the, the look and feel of the presentation. Great. So once again, you can get PPT Plex from www.officelabs.com. Uh, they even have an instructional video uh, that goes into slightly more detail than what we've done here. It's a little more direct to the point, but we've really just talked and discussed around the benefits of using PPTplex. So, officelabs.com, download PPTplex today. Thanks, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.